Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and I just wanted to give you guys an update on my 3D printed mini arcade cabinet that I've been working on uh, for about maybe a little over a week now. Um, so yeah, here it is in front of us, and it is fully functional. Um, <laughs> all of the 3D printed parts are completed, with the exception of the back panel, uh, which will be done probably in the next 24 to 48 hours. The controls are fully working, the speakers are working, the LCD screen's in place, RetroPie is set up, and it is running beautifully. So the only things that I am waiting on now is I shortened the USB cable from the controls to the actual RetroPie by just snipping, soldering, and shortening it, but the HDMI cable I didn't want to cut. I I remember looking at shortening an HDMI cable a long time ago and it looked like more work than I wanted to put in. So I ordered a one foot HDMI cable which is coming in the mail tomorrow along with a better power supply. As you can see there's a little lightning bolt here and I can make that go away if I use a shorter USB cable. Right now I'm using an extension just to put it on to my desk to show you guys but when I use the short one and have it just like on my shelf it doesn't show up as much but I'm ordering a better power supply so hopefully that'll fix that issue. Um, then on top of that the only other things I want to do which these will be probably later on um, is there's a little bit of a issue on the top with me not being happy with the way it printed so I'm gonna make a custom decal that will cover the top of this and then I was potentially thinking about picking up some paint that matches these buttons and painting where it says ModBot to match the color of the blue. But those are later on. The main things right now really left that I would care about and then the rest can wait for later on is just get the shorter cables and finish uh, adhering the Raspberry Pi to the inside of the back and then um, putting the actual back onto the console. But again, I'll show you guys, this is pretty cool. So if I go to uh, quit and restart system, yes. So um, when this project's done, I'm probably gonna do um, two videos on it. One will just be a showcase where it's just kind of like a two minute edit of you know different shots and videos of it working. Then I'm gonna do a longer video, which will be probably like a 15 minute at least video um, where I talk about my build process and stuff like that. Pretty cool, it's got my little robot. It says ModBot when it boots up. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll probably do a longer video talking about the different steps that I took to while I was designing this and building this, some hiccups I ran into, some changes I'm gonna make to the final model that I upload online, and a few more things like that. And then you guys could probably also expect some retro pie videos over the next month. I'm probably gonna do some tutorials in terms of setting up um, how to get the audio working on these speakers because um, there was a person, which I can't remember their name, that commented a link that was life-saving for getting it set up really, really easily. So I'm probably gonna make a handful of six or seven short tutorials on RetroPie and certain things like that, so um, just be ready for that. So again though, if I go to like Super Nintendo, so we got Super Mario World, boot that up, just so you guys can hear the speakers. I'm actually not sure, the speakers might not be at 100%, so let me, let me see. No, it's not, okay. So, back out real quick. And then if I go to sound settings, speakers are at 74%. It makes a huge difference for some reason between 74 and 100. It gets much louder. And then we'll, we'll reboot into Super Mario. So you guys can hear the audio is literally perfect. At 100% it's loud enough where like I wouldn't want it louder. But I usually play it at 74% when it's just me. So you guys can hear the... Uh... Again, the screen's cutting in and out, but that's because of the power supply. When I have the extension, it's not supplying enough power. But yeah, it's running freaking awesomely. And originally, <clears throat> I was going to have it set up where you can plug in a second USB controller, but since this thing has Bluetooth built in, I'm probably just going to cut off, like make it where it's not as easy to get into the back. And if you want to play with friends or add a second controller, then you can just use Bluetooth via like a PlayStation 3 controller or something like that. So. Again, this is the project that I've been working on very heavily for the past week and a half here, and I am super in love with it. I've been just playing crazy amounts of retro games over the past 24 hours, like finally playing A Link to the Past, and I'm like probably just an hour and a half in so far, but I've been having a really, really good time. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and this is definitely by far one of the coolest projects I think I've ever done that I've gotten the most enjoyment out of. So uh, again, I am the next next video, maybe not next video, but in the next video on this, 
the cables will be in and hopefully the back panel will be done and uh, we'll be looking at it a little bit more. Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace guys.